What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for awesomeo.com. I am joined by Ben Raza. We are here to give you the Contenders Masters Edition. Three of our best bets. A long shot, somebody chilling in the mid-tier, and one of the favorites. I'm kicking it over to Ben now. He's starting us off. I have the winners, so I don't even know if you guys want to listen to this. Yeah, that's what they like you to think. Uh, excited, excited to get you on the golf train. I, I'm I stealing it. your thunder with the contenders video, but yeah, we're going to break down some masters. Obviously, best golf week of the year, no doubt about it. I'm going to get things started. We're looking courtesy, of course, of Odd Shopper. If you guys haven't been there, make sure to go check that out. Uh, you get all the prices, best values from across all the books. Really makes a difference. Let's get it started, though. Kevin Kisner. 150 to one to win the tournament. Obviously quite a long shot. He's a Georgia Bulldog. He's not the perfect profile. I'll admit that he's not a long hitter and that can be a problem at Augusta, but this is a guy who's made the cut at the masters last four years, nothing better than 21st, but that was his last appearance here. The thing I love about him can get crazy hot with the putter can get crazy hot with the iron. So if it plays a little different being in November, there's a lot of questions. I think a guy like Kevin Kisner could be a long shot to get in the mix. Who do you have in the uh, astronomical odds territory for us? Yeah, so you were just talking a little bit about someone that can get crazy hot with the putter. Well, I have someone that's slightly different for you, and that would be Benny on. Now, he does not get all that hot with the putter. Uh, I don't know what the opposite of that would be, um, but that's him for sure. But what if, what if just... For a miracle in this new Masters, had a different time in the calendar that somehow he could putt just good enough to get you there. Because everything else looks fantastic. Top 10, 13 to 1. Love it. 250 to 1 to win the Masters. I don't want to say I love it because that would be <laughs> pretty aggressive. But I think those are fun odds for someone that if he could just, just get the flat stick going. I think we could be in for a little bit of money, but I really do like that top 10, uh, 13 to one feels pretty nice. Yeah. He's listen, we, we talk all the time, putting high is various part of golf. You know, Benny on will gain strokes putting occasionally when you have guys that are very poor drivers of the ball, it's almost impossible to ask them to gain strokes putting, but I'm going to zig once again, because I just said, you know, good drivers of the ball. My next guy, my mid range play is Bubba Watson. Uh, 33 to one right now on odd chopper that's value. Listen, this is a two time green jacket winner. We know, uh, quote unquote, is it a Bubba course? We've already answered that. Yes. Augusta is a Bubba's course. The thing we have to love though, he's playing phenomenal. This has been a resurgent year. He's coming in seventh from the CJ cup fourth at the Zozo T to green has been automatic, basically gaining off the T and approach every single week. Can the putter turn around? It's just like Benny on in a lot of ways. We don't know, but I'll take that risk. 33 to one for a guy that's done it twice here. That's good enough for me. I don't hate it. Um, oh, but man. He's, a, he's a guy I end up with quite a bit in the DFS space. So I, I can't be mad at it uh, from a betting perspective. I'm going to go uh, a little higher at 66 to one. I'm going to Scotty Scheffler. Now, he has been less than stellar as of late. You know, post-COVID hasn't been the best for him. He had a really solid 2020. And I know that without question, the one thing I can guarantee, he's going to be good off the tee. Um, if he happens to run a little hot with the putter, we're, we're talking about a guy that can absolutely contend. Again, it hasn't been awesome for him, but I'm going to go ahead and assume that as every day goes by, he gets a little bit more back to normal, a little bit more energy back in the tank. I don't think 66 to 1 is too crazy for Scotty Scheffler. I mean, you know, this is a guy, you mentioned his stellar summer, fourth at the PGA in, in a major already. He was right there, uh, automatic off the tee. Uh, and si listen, 66, that, that's the thing that I like about Scheffler. Um, I don't think he's as likely to win as Bubba. I really don't. But is he half as likely to win? That's the question. Because right. you're getting a huge, huge odds boost there. Uh, I do want to say real quickly, though, before we get to our favorite, to our to our big time play, uh, we have a good promo running. And it's, of course, because of the Masters. We have a promo code Augusta. And that's going to get you a platinum weekly pass 
for 50% off. So you get in the door, you get all the tools for golf, but it's not just for golf. Obviously it's platinum. It's everything that we have NFL MMA is going on ownership projections, the top stacks, everything that you could need. So we no better time to come give it a try. Uh, this is the best week in golf, but more importantly than that, the winner, the man who will be wearing the green jacket. I can't believe I'm not, if it's Rory and I don't suggest him, I'm going to cry, but it's John Rahm. 11 to one right now to me, I, I view him as the best player in the world. When you just look at how the consistency week after week, second at the Zoizo, basically automatic to be in the mix. He's got some experience here now at Augusta, you know, hasn't broken through, of course, but it's just a matter of time with him in majors. He does everything that I want. He's long. He can putt. He's aggressive. The temper can be an issue, but you know what? He's been better at that. And just the talent is through the roof. I love the way he's playing. I love the way the game is trajectory uh, coming into Augusta. He is my man. Who do you have to rival uh, my favorite Spaniard? I hope that they got his new measurements ready because they're slightly bigger than they used to be. I want Bryson DeChambeau, nine to one. Uh, I have to. I I am very, very anxious to see what he's cooking up for this weekend. He's a guy near and dear to my heart. I love the nerd aspect of all of it. Uh, it makes me feel like he's representative of the DFS space, always trying to get better. I love this sort of stuff. I, I think that he could actually break this course as much as anyone can break Augusta. He's already got a major under his belt relatively recently. I'm, I see no reason to try and tempt fate. I'm going to the man that's just going to destroy the golf ball. Yeah, I mean, he he broke Wingfoot. Uh, we saw it at the U.S. Open. He he gained five strokes off the tee. He gained seven strokes with the approach. <laughs> he gained five strokes around the green, and he gained four strokes putting. That's not – I would say that's not possible, but he did. Yeah. Um, and what the reports, Josh, I know you've seen them, are that he's taking lines off the tee that are basically impossible. And if he's able to do it, he's going to have – sand wedges and <laughs> short irons into coals that no one else will. So the mad scientist, I get it. it. I I like him more. I will say this. I like Bryson more as a bet just because I think the downside, if it goes wrong, could be pretty bad. Um, sure. What do you think about that concept? No, I, I, get, I get what you're saying. Like he, I don't get the sense that he's going to finish like T12. You know, it feels polarizing, right? Right. Like he's either going to be separating himself pretty significantly from the pack or he put himself in a lot of trouble um, it, 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 trying to take angles that are just not actually there. Yeah, I mean, I would – and listen, there's a ton of, of prop bets out there. And we will have – one of the many reasons, like I said, get in Slack. We'll be talking about all of these things. Uh, Bryson is the type of guy, though, you know, you see those bets that say wire to wire winner. I could see that. I, like if, if it works, he could just start hot and end hot and crush. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's going to be fascinating. I have never been this excited for a golf tournament. I, I honestly can say that and mean it. It's fascinating what we have, and it's a great betting opportunity for us all. Anything else uh, before we duck on out of here? Uh, check out Odd Shopper for sure. Yep. Sign, use the promo code Augusta to sign up. That one, for I mean, that that is absolutely what you guys should be doing. Uh, it's one of the best promos we've run probably ever uh, to get that sort of price on the all-access package is, is massive. So, yeah, use that promo code Augusta. I got one. Hit that thumbs up. Oh, yeah, just for the you gotta for the get people. the likes in, right? Brand. You got to get the I, likes I, in. So I will give my spiel then. If, you, if you're going to go to the thumbs up, I will say this. Make sure, in addition, of course, we will have plenty of betting content out, but we got you covered on the DFS side. 2.30 on Tuesdays, me and fantasy golf man Tim Frank. Wednesday nights, 8.30 Eastern, me and Jason Roslin live before lock on YouTube, answering your questions, talking lineup construction, tee time stacks, weather stacks, if there's any withdrawals, everything that you guys need. We will have ownership by then. That is the type of stuff to make sure uh, before you build your lineups to, to come stop on by. So jam-packed for this Masters week. I cannot wait. <laughs>